Andrew from ETH Automation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom endpoint in Zoho Creator version 6. So if uh, you're familiar with development in the Zoho ecosystem, you'll know that there are functions. Obviously, this YouTube channel exists. And in CRM, those functions can be called via an API call directly into the function. This feature used to not be available in any of the other Zoho apps, or some of them have had it, but we'll ignore a bunch of them. Um, until recently, Creator didn't have this, but now it does. And it works a little bit differently than it does in CRM, where you just enable a function to have um, API access. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to write a function for this particular um, endpoint, for a particular endpoint. So let me start by sharing my screen. Okay, as you can see, I'm in Zoho Creator. In fact, this is a previously created creator app on another video um, that helps with quoting. And so what I wanna do is I want to create an endpoint to um, get the available concrete grades and their prices or a specific concrete grade and its price, all right? So I'm gonna start, I'm going to make a custom function for this. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, null check for a product. And then I'm going to search for product. And then I'm going to return product pricing, All right? Real simple. So first thing we want to do, we want to go um, if, and this is a map, so data dot get product equals null. Then we're just going to return all products. So products equals concrete grade where ID Uh, is not equal one, 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 All right? So there's no IDs that would do that. And then we're gonna go uh, products equals products dots to map. And then we're gonna return products, right? So this is a real simple null case. There we go. Apparently, I need to be more caffeinated in the morning. Um, that was a bit of a derp. So um, this is the null case, all right? So it just gives us all the data. And then the other case is if uh, data.product does not equal null, then we want to search for a concrete grade where the name equals the product. And then we want to do the same logic right here. Right, there should only be one and then return uh, we're not, we don't actually have pricing in here. That was a derp as well. And then error map equals map. Error, error map dot puts uh, status comma error. All right. So in the edge case where it doesn't find a product or something goes horribly, horribly wrong, it's going to return an error map. Right, cool. So now that we have this ready to go and it's saved, right? We want to enable this to be um, callable via, via API. So what I'm going to do is um, in your Zoho Creator dashboard, if you click microservices, then click custom API and add a custom API. So fetch 
products. You can put it in the description, uh, but for this demo, I'm not going to show that. And then this is going to be a get request using a public key. And we'll do standard because I don't really want to do a whole lot of that. And then we are in the quoting tool, quoting tool, and the function is search products, right? So let's go next. And then here is our function. So um, you want to put in an argument of a map, right, as the data, and let's click save. Great. So now I'm going to open Postman and show you what this looks like. And right now, and I'm going to paste in the URL, right? It uh, automatically puts some stuff in the params. We have a get request. And if I look here, the it's a get request. It's enabled. Um, I need to send in a map. Go to body. Raw. Set to post, public key, uh, content type, JSON, application JSON, and key and value. Right? The rest is the same. And now in Postman, I've got my URL right here. My header is content type application JSON. My body is right here. And when I send it, I get the names back. I, I can also send a product. I forget how I spelled it. Hold on. Products like this. So product. Uh, smooth, a bug in the code. Enter in the product name, smooth, and get the uh, the data back specifically for that. So this uh, this function now acts as a custom endpoint to either send in data or return data or a combination of both. Uh, for any time a Zoho Creator app needs to be interacted by another service, um, and you want some custom logic there. I hope you found this video helpful. I will see you in the next video.